so hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to cover how to update your existing android app in the play store uh, suppose you have you have, you already have an app in the play store and recently you have done some some modification so those changes you want it to publish uh, in the play store so those changes we are going to cover like how to what what modification you have to do in your settings so that you can publish your app again in the play store so actually those points i have already covered here in this post you can see like i have already listed down a step by step version like what what settings what modification you have to do before you publish your app in the play store okay let's go through it okay first of all uh, put you have to select the project from here okay it after that you can see all your files and everything uh, here it's listed down here so like here you can see there are two versions of build.gradle one is inside this app folder and one is the outside so what you have to do you have to forget about this outside version and you have to just click on the inside so just click on it once you click on this one you will you will see these settings over here what you have to do you can see these two things version code and version name so earlier this version code was like one and version name was like 1.0 so once you are going to publish republish your app you have to change the setting you have to make the version code as 2 and version name at 1.1 1 .1. so these these changes are actually these uh, changes are called the versioning of the app so suppose you you kept that setting only like version code is 1 and 1.0 1 and after that you, after your modification and you are going to upload this apk then then that developer developer console will reject this one it will tell you like that thing is already there on the uh, console and you cannot do this thing so what do you have to do you have to modify this thing so and and it's it's going to increment as you as as you are going to do the modification and you are going to republish your app again and again so these settings are going to be modified suppose after this thing uh, you are again going to republish your app so in that case the version code will be 3 and version name will be 1.2 so in in this case what we have to consider it here like this version name is only be visible to your clients okay they are not going to see this version code this is only for you and you can see uh, in the developer console only so your clients are going to see this version name only like i have this app already here and i just republished it so you can see the version here is 1.1 so this is what i have mentioned it there the version in 1.1 so this thing only this thing you have to modify it here and after that what you have to do you have to build uh, this thing you know like you have to build this project and after that only you you can publish uh, everything in the play store so what you have to do you have to go in the build variants it's on the left side of your android studio and you have to select the release mode from here once you select the release mode you have to build your project and one thing you have to notice we are not going to simply build this apk we have to generate the signed apk okay so what you have to do you have to click on this thing once you click on this thing because you have the first time you are uh, you will have published your app so at that time only you must have been given this password and everything so it will ask for uh, your password and you have to provide it here Okay, so it will give your uh, once you provide the correct password it will give you all the settings you just have to click on next finish okay so you can see here the gradle build running okay and it will take some time so meanwhile you have to wait it here So meanwhile, I will go through this thing like we have covered this step one, update the build.gradle file and we have updated the version code also. And after that, what we have to do, we, we have already done it like we have put our project in the release mode and after that we are going to build it. So once, once, once we have completed this build, okay, you will see this kind of message over here okay it will show you in the log window only like generate signed apk apk generated successfully 
and you can see once you click on this explorer you can actually see this thing okay so your your uh, apk will be yeah so your apk will be uh, seen in this format ap app release dot apk and this is all you have to upload in the play store let's check it here whether okay it's still running okay so this app release apk that we have to take it from here and have to upload it in the play store so once i say play store what does it mean actually uh, we have access to this google play developer console okay you you must have already have an account here because without that when we are not going to we, we cannot publish anything over there so first time you have published your app you already have this account so go to this account google developer console okay okay so this has been done here you can see uh, you can click on show in explorer and it will directly forward you to this location this app location and you can take this app.release.apk from here so once you generated this file you have to go to the console okay you have to go to the your app only and after that you have to go to this apk and have to click on this thing upload new apk you can browse for the file okay and you have to provide that path only so that i can take it from here and you have to select this app release.apk I have already uploaded this one so I'm not going to upload it again so once you uploaded this one and then you can see this kind of thing version 2 uploaded on 13 September and status in prod so this will be your a new version of the app and you can see the earlier version will be like unpublished okay so it will the status will move to unpublished unpub automatically and this will be the new version will be in the prod status so that is all you have to do after that you have to wait for some time and it will get reflected in this format only once you go to the play store the updated date and current version all will be here only so thank you all for the watching okay and please subscribe